Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the Around the World Major Events in The Simpsons Tapped Out. It's a globe! To get this globe, we have to do tasks, daily tasks, and you have to do a whole bunch of them, three a day, up to seven times, so a week, and when you do, you will get this particular prize. So, let's place down this globe that we've gotten. That is massive! I thought it was going to be all tiny. That is so ridiculous. Is this supposed to be like a statue? What is happening? Where are we going? Oh, we got these characters as well. Oh. Whenever my Anyone faith in God is shaken, I think of a miracle, the miracle of antifreeze. It's Caesar, or Caesar. Hey, I am as happy you? as a belt on a well-dressed woman. Ugolin. Ugolin? That's the only two I can think of. So we got these characters as well. I forgot how close I was. I guess we'll have to compact the globe with these characters, I guess. Hooray! All right, so before actually, let's just tap this thing in the side here. Collect pins. I don't want to do that. If you do, you probably get the the bonus donuts or the bonnets or whatever people like to call it. So we'll start with the globe. Hello, Mr. Globe. Let me see. If you're going to make a sound, I mean, what does a what does a globe sound like when you spin it? Guess we'll see. Germany is home to the world's first savings bank. Oh, it's like that other prize. Oh, what the heck is that? Remember that episode, that Christmas episode when Homer buys that, that, that really expensive gift? I can't remember what it was, but it would always tell him like interesting true facts or something. This is kind of like the same thing. England's capital, London, is the most visited city in the world. The Simpsons first visited together in the Regina Mon Monologues. I do remember that episode. It says, Brazil is the most successful country in the world at soccer, having won five World Cups. Homo referees in Brazil and you don't have to live like a referee. Very interesting. Are you going to do anything with Canada? Please. Peru is home to Machu Picchu, an Incan settlement high in the mountains. The Simpsons visited in The Lost Horizon. Okay, one more. And we'll have the wolf howl at the same time. Denmark has the oldest flag in the world, having adopted the Danabrog in 1219. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that correctly. That's really, really cool. I was hoping for a Canada one. Maybe there is. But let's now move on to the actual characters. Because that would probably help. Let's go. I just got a voice. Which one are you again? Yugolin? Now that we are in this wretched country, how shall we earn the money? Just as in France, selling wine laced with antifreeze and turning endangered animals into fashion accessories. Ah, in America, I had hoped to make a new start. This is a new start. Instead of making our own wine, we just buy it in boxes from Sprawl Mart. America has already taught us its greatest lesson. Don't even try. Alright, so we know that Euglin has a voice. What about Caesar? The floor is good enough for you. So again. The floor is good enough for you. Stop it. More, more other sound bites, please. Take a little wine. Sell street wine. Let's let's see the animator for this animation. Very good. Oh no, the cork went out. He's lacing it with antifreeze. Wine, get your cheap wine. He's yelling, Casey, Casey, where's that sucker, Casey? 
Sorry, man. I'm busy. We gotta go to the other dude. Buglin. Buy endangered animals. Let's go. I forgot to look at the quest for the characters. Well, damn it. Buy endangered animals. Sell street wine. Sing the... I don't know. A word I can't pronounce. Watch TV. Serve time. Fight with Caesar or Caesar. For two hours. And... That's obviously going to pop up later on in the quest line. Take a little wine. I don't understand it. No one is buying my antifreeze laced wine. Stupid Americans don't know good wine when they see it. Which means they shouldn't know bad wine when I sell it. We have no money for food. Fear not. We're rats roam. No Frenchman shall go hungry. Well, that's fantastic. At least I have food. Kind of. So, he's going to try to think of a way to make money, and the other dude's going to hunt for rats. Okay, rats are fun. Cesar, I know how we can succeed in America. Americans are crazy for therapy, you know? And we Frenchmen are experts in love. Yes. Yes. I mean, no. Just tell me the plan. We shall become late night talk radio love therapists. I don't... Uh, what? Not so fast! Welcome to the French Love Connection. I'm Yugolin. And I'm Cesar, Love PhD. First caller, what is your question? There's this girl I like, but she only thinks of me as her brother's friend. Can you give me some advice? Life is meaningless. Surrender hope and sink into drink and despair. Or try and find some shared interests. So, so I guess they're going for it. I don't know how they actually end up getting a radio show, but okay. Remember they were broke a second ago? Take a little wine. Why, hello, French love connection. I promise to take my wife and Miss Springfield to the same party. What do I do? Nothing. Reality is a joke played by an uncaring universe. I see. So, maybe I say have a headache? Cesar, your fatalistic Anui, Anu, is not helping our callers make love connections. Until you can commit to the therapeutic agenda, our partnership is done. Why just like that? Why not try harder? Give him a second chance? So they're just gonna go their own way. Or he's gonna go his own way. And the other dude's gonna smoke French cigarettes, okay. Not so, fast. so there he goes for that. Is this gonna be animated? I can't remember. Take a little no, it's not. So where is he gonna smoke? What are you doing? Get out of here! This is how you repay us! Mon uncle, I have realized that without you, I am nothing. Perhaps a true French love connection is between you and I. Our partnership is restored. We will rise to new heights. No doubt. Meanwhile, I'm hungry. Rat hunt? Yeah, rat hunt! This is how it ends. That was a weird, weird quest line, man. I mean, they have nothing. They somehow are able to get on a show or something, make their own show, and they give crappy advice. They go their separate ways, and now they reunite, and the love is between them. Rather, rather strange. So I'm not actually going to do this. What I'm actually going to do. Let's go. I will, okay, hold on. I will go. In a second. We're actually going to do this one here. Fight with Caesar. Or Caesar. I still don't know how to pronounce the damn thing. And it's going to be a two hour quest because it was originally locked. So no red hunting. They're going to fight each other. Like not him. Okay, not Kearney. Please. Because I'm pretty sure he could take you. Five minutes later, here he comes. Who's going to win? Oh, jeez. One of them gives the old backhand, the other one legitimately punches and kicks the other person. 
think we know who the real winner is. Us! Because we get to watch this train wreck. And people love train wrecks. They do! They love celebrity stuff with all the weird, crazy stuff that goes on. They love people flipping their marbles. They love the UFC. You know, all that MMA stuff. So, yeah, Marge. I mean, pff, Marge and the other, the cowboy chick, whatever her name is, Lurleen. They're into the fighting, apparently. You know, Lurleen decided to maybe it was enough. But Cesar and Yugolin. Once again, no idea how to pronounce them. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye, guys.